What do these three string instruments have in common? The 4-4 four -four violin, 1-8 violin, and 4-4 four -four viola all had their sound posts set with violin sound post mate DSP Classic 2 without removing the bridge. This video will show how technology can make it easier to install violin sound post. Same procedure will also apply to cello and double bass. Brief description of traditional way to set the sound post. First we insert protection pad under the tailpiece, then we loosen strings, remove bridge and now we can access the tailpiece button. Next we use traditional tool to insert and set the sound post. And finally remove the tailpiece button to examine how well the sound post is set. Here is easy alternative. We loosen just A and D strings. Insert a light inside violin to help with proper alignment while we install the sound post. Do not use excessive force. First, examine the sound post for proper alignment. If OK, Retighten strings and withdraw the tool. To prevent sound post from falling, remove the tool only after the strings were tightened. And here is why. And this is how violin body with sound post removed reacts to string tension. We see that violin top is quite flexible. Thus, most of force from strings, which is about 10 pounds, is pressing against the sound post. When dry sound post is installed this way, it will stay tight. Another point, tone balance of violin may be affected when sound post is installed with partial string tension. After the sound post has been installed, Further inspection is recommended, especially when setting up a valuable instrument. Here technology is of great help, and here are tools that we use. Inspection camera, which includes camera, light intensity control and picture capture switch, micro USB and USB 2, also includes attachment with 45 degree mirror for side viewing. Camera connects to a PC or an Android phone and can be used for real-time video as well as snapshot pictures for examination, including inspecting the sound post. Using internal camera lights has some serious limitations and does not work with 45 degree mirror attachment. To help examine the sound post installed in violin, we use SML3 inspection light. With three LEDs powered by 9 volt battery or a 12 volt regulated power supply, it can illuminate up to 70% area around the sound post. Example with a viola. We form the cable with lights pointing up, engage with sound post, use camera with 45 degree mirror attachment to take the picture. The resulting snapshot shows very poor setup of sound post and needs to be corrected. Another example, a self-adjusting bridge with a little bit of a problem. Inspection with the camera is best done in work area having reduced lights. When 45 degree mirror is used, although not absolutely required, a piece of tape formed to shield camera from direct stray light 
can help locate key contact points at the sound post. And here we see three pictures of top end of sound post in a new cello. First two pictures were taken without shield and third with the shield. The pictures also demonstrate setup defects in this brand new inexpensive instrument. Checking sound post in violin. To inspect bottom, we set the light near the top, pointing to the bottom, and aim the camera through F-hole. For top viewing, we set the light at the bottom, pointing up, and use the camera with attached 45 degree mirror. And now we shall give special attention to sound post in double bass. Although procedure is the same as other instruments, we need to be extra careful not to drop the sound post, since here, unlike violin, retrieving a dropped sound post can be more challenging. To begin, we loosen strings, keep the sound post short end marker facing the side, insert the sound post, paying attention to proper alignment. Do not use excessive force. If more force is needed, use additional tool. Do not remove the tool. First, we retighten the strings, and then, before retrieving the tool, we first press on the sound post to make sure it stays tight. Now we can retract the tool. Here is how we examine double bass using camera and desktop PC. For this, we would need a longer cable. Since the camera control is located near computer end, a camera with longer cable is of little help. Adding a USB extension cable is a better choice. First, we insert the light. It can be placed at any point so long as it points approximately parallel to the sound post. For stronger light, use 12 volt power supply. The camera is connected to USB extension cable. Wide F-hole in double base allows us to use locking tweezers, making inspection work easy. We snap the picture for examination and we are done. What is good, what is bad and what is acceptable? This is personal judgment. Generally, the more valuable the instrument, the more critical judgment. The tools we have used here. The original sound post made DSP Classic setter for violin and viola, a model SM cello setter, and SM DB double bass setter, a 5mm endoscope camera, SML3 custom inspection light a 6 foot or 2 meter USB male female extension cable and 12 volt surveillance camera power supply. And the tools are now available on eBay, online stores and website www.r25.com. Thank you for watching.